Hello and welcome to AITPM News. The New South Wales branch of the AITPM is holding a Back to Basics forum on the 26th of October 2017. Long-time AITPM member Alan Finlay will be presenting a paper titled Insight to Basic Traffic Signal Design. Sydney has a very proud uh, history of uh, developing a very sophisticated traffic signal management system, SCATS, and it continues to be developed and enhanced. But it's important that people understand the basic principles that underlie the operation of traffic signals generally, and that's the sort of things that I'll be trying to cover in my presentation. It's particularly important for people who might be modelling the operation of traffic signals, and so obviously a lot of consultants are involved in developing models and assessing the efficiency of networks, and increasingly council traffic engineers need to be across the results of those sorts of models because they'll be assessing the results and making recommendations for things like development applications and, and other things that are going to have an impact on traffic flows. Just a a very simple thing and one of the most common errors I see in in SIDRA is SIDRA defaults to what we would call long walks in in the pedestrian features. So if you don't actively take steps to turn off a, a particular function, SIDRA will assume that every pedestrian feature has the walk go almost for the length of the phase. And so the flashing red man will, will operate for the last however long it needs to be for the, the length of the crossing. But in practice, in New South Wales practice certainly, it's more typical that the walk is only displayed for about six or eight seconds at the start of the phase and then it straight away goes into flashing red man. If it's left to its own devices, SIDRA will make every pedestrian crossing a long walk, whereas in practice most pedestrian crossings have short walks. Information about the forum can be found on our website.